you may call our Weed of the Week pigeon grass, or maybe, oh, it's just a foxtail, but very specifically, it's yellow foxtail. Now, even this, Brent, I talk to growers that say, well, I've got some annual grass out there, what do I do? No, you need to identify what annual grass you have. In the world of resistant weeds, where we are really good at identifying broadleaf weeds and even telling different pigweed species apart, you need to get good at identifying grass and fortunately, this is one of the easiest ones to identify. Yep, it is. All you're looking for is long tufts of hair at the base of the leaf blade. So this has got a hairy ligule, just like the other foxtails, but when you find those long tufts of hair right at the base of the leaf blade, you know you have yellow foxtail. To get control of annual grasses like yellow foxtail, we like to go with a good pre-plant residual herbicide. So we're talking about things like Treflan or Trifluralin, in soybeans, in corn, we're looking at the group 15s like Harness, and in wheat, we're looking at products like Prepare. Okay, once we start talking post-emerge, there are lots of options in the broadleaf crops. So you go to soybeans, you can use Roundup, Liberty, Clethodem, almost any grass control herbicide will kill yellow foxtail in soybeans. It's not so easy when we get to wheat and corn. Well, in corn, I really like having the Roundup or Liberty option, but in conventional corn, Accent Q is going to be your best choice. Okay, and in wheat, we'd probably suggest Axial. Discover is pretty good. Next Step NG. There are a number of them out there, but it's not as good when you mix those with broadleaf herbicides. So spray them straight if you've got a solid yellow foxtail issue. So use a two-pass approach for the pre and a post-emerge application to stop our Weed of the Week, Yellow Foxtail. That's it for our Weed of the Week, but stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next. Next.